Hey everybody, James here. Welcome back to another Make a Model Monday. Now, when I was growing up, one of the shows I watched the most of until I was probably 12 or 13 was a show called Power Rangers. You may have heard of it. It's been around for like 30 years at this point, and I had a lot of the toys growing up. And the toys are actually worth a fair amount of money from the original series now, but unfortunately, my parents have either thrown them out or otherwise sold them at yard sales since then. Luckily, 3D modeling allows us to go back and print off some of those props, maybe not functional, but certainly visually appealing, so we can relive a little bit of our childhood, and Power Rangers is no exception. Here we have the original Morpher from Power Rangers. This is printed in a clear PLA at uh, 0.1 millimeter layer height to get the detail of the curve and everything down nice. Um, it was printed at 200 degrees Celsius. It's just standard PLA from filaments.ca, uh, and it turned out really nice. There was a little bit of orange left on the nozzle that didn't decide to show its ugly head until the very end of the print, but not really a big deal if you're planning to print it. In addition, we've got some coins to go with that. So we've got the White Ranger's coin, and we have the Dragon Zord coin. The detail work on these is really, really nice. Uh, again, I printed them at uh, low layer heights. This was actually printed at 0. 0.6, which you can tell just it, it gives a nice smooth edge to the the uh, Dragon Zord claw that's on the actual coin. The uh, coins just sort of drop in. I plan to use magnets to actually get them to attach. But the thing is, with this model, having it just in clear PLA like that, it doesn't do it justice. There's a couple revisions of those coins on there. Really, it needs to be it needs to be the proper colors to really appreciate how well done the model is. So I've got this one here that I also printed. Uh, this one was done in white PLA. And you can see with the colors on there, it really makes the accents pop. Uh, I should have done a little more sanding on this one beforehand, but I wanted to see how it was going to go across because I actually went kind of the cheap route on this. Um... I gave it a quick coating in white paint uh, that was designed to bond to plastic. And then after that, I actually used silver and black Sharpies to fill it in here and only used a little bit of red um, latex paint there. And then for the coins, I gave them the same treatment except for I used a gold Sharpie to color them in. And I think it turned out pretty nice, you know, considering what a cheap solution is. The gold and silver uh, markers I got, or the Sharpies I got at the dollar store for like $1.25. Uh, the black Sharpie came in a pack of three or four for three bucks. And uh, even the uh, red latex I picked up at the dollar store, although I would recommend if you're using a latex paint to go with something a little bit more high quality, the uh, paint in question on these, it's a little bit stroke, like you can see the, the brush strokes in it. So it's not really perfectly ideal, but yeah, as a quick visual, that's it's not bad. And again, the coins can just drop in. There we go. So I hope you guys like this brief look at the Power Rangers Morpher with some of the uh, coins. I'm going to go ahead and link the models for both the Morpher and the coins in the description on this video. Uh, if you like this video, toss me a thumbs up. If you're new here, subscribe and click the bell so that you're notified whenever I put out new content. If you've got something you'd like to see printed in a Make a Model Monday, let me know and I'll see what I can do. And until next time, stay creative.